Wash, 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 <laughs> we're, we're not was, live, are we? What was Rob Bar Bar Burgundy doing there? Rob Burgundy was like, Audrey, Audrey, look at me. <laughs> I love that. Now, life. now, brown cow. Yeah. Are we live? Okay. Oh, I think we are live. Yeah, we are live. Okay. Um, welcome, guys, Oops. to Behind the Table, episode two. Uh, uh, Coach Ray, Don Idris. I just, By the way, it, I'm going to correct you. It's I know this might be an I joke, but it's Don Idris, not Idris. Idris. But you can call me whatever you want. It's Donatello. Okay. It's Donatello and Mike. Donatello. Lange. Donatello, Donovani, whatever you want to call me. Yeah, yeah. Um, welcome, everyone. Thanks for joining again. Thanks for showing up again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, welcome good feedback from last time. Yeah. A lot of good feedback, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, Pleasantly surprised. I, I, th I think we can um, we can work on this. Uh, I gotta say, hold on. I'm supposed to read this. Just bear with me a second. I've been told to read things like this. Check out my dope ass glasses, though. By the way, Ray, what do you, you mean, think? You mean spectacles? Also, Spectacle. I just want to say it's a uh, it's a waste of a glass. <laughs> well, no, I got a fifty percent discount. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not even joking. I have to show you the receipt. Yeah. Hang on. Uh, if you would like to see more of our content, please click like, share, and subscribe. Oh. Thank you. That's what I was okay. told. Okay. To and um, it's good that you struggle. It's good Sorry, that go you on. wrote it down. It's really good that you wrote it down. I sometimes I'm, mess it up. I don't I'm know. new at this. I'm new at this. Just help, help, help me out, guys. Yeah. I'll get better. We are brought uh, by Beer Struggle. The struggle I have every day. <laughs> Brought to you by the Beard Struggle, our latest supporter of arm wrestling, the beard oil company, the men's grooming company that brings strength and style and just mixes it all up. You can look strong and rugged, but still look cool as shit. Um, their gift to the arm wrestling community in the description. Check them out. Click on the link or go to beardstruggle.com and put in the code Core Sports, and you will get a 21% off discount off of all their products, which I might men must mention again is the highest discount they've ever given. And that's purely for the arm wrestling community. Go check them out guys and thank them for supporting arm wrestling. So, cause I, I saw that on a poster of East versus West. So it's not just supporter of, of this and, and KOT, it's supporter of arm wrestling, right? All arm wrestling, East versus West, our podcast. Yeah. Um, yeah. Potentially, I'm talking to them about okay, King of the Table, of course, and I'm yeah. potentially speaking to them about identifying, like helping out some of the athletes as well. Um, I can't speak much on that, but we'll, we'll see. Let's just say it's work in progress. It's just the beginning, and both communities getting together should be a fun mashup, if you will. Hmm. Yeah. Would you grow? Would you grow a beard if the, if you if you got paid? Dude, can you grow a beard? No. Really. No, and you wear like, a fake beard. Like I, I, I shave every day because it grows out. But Why? Because it's, it's how to say it's so. It's like stars in the sky. There's a lot oh. of spaces in between. Yeah, right. And it's been right, like right. this since I was 16 years old, and it hasn't changed. But it, like, if I don't shave for three days, I just feel uh, so. I shave every day. This is what it keeps. But even if I don't shave, it's it's. It's nothing. It's just like a bunch of hairs one inch apart, like kind of when you hit puberty yeah. and you just yeah. never. It's been still, like, as I'm yeah. getting older, it's getting fuller. Maybe at 60, I don't know. <laughs> You'll have 10 hairs on your, on your face. What, Man, it's. That's, I mean, I don't know. I'm sure they have solutions for that somewhere. Everything is plastic surgery these days, isn't it? Plastic surgery. I got cheek implants. I heard about jaw implants the other day, jawline implants. You ever heard of that? Cheek and jaw implants? Like jawline implants that people oh. like me, like that square jaw. Mm -hmm. Anywho, got, so when, when what are we talking about pillows, today? Have it. Yeah. Sorry? Um, 
What did you say? Where do we start? Where do we start? Well, I thought we'd start by addressing some questions. Any questions from last time? Let's just go through those. Mm -hmm. um, did, did you see any questions that need a... One question I wanted to answer. There was a gentleman or lady, I don't know. Uh, guys, we do not keep, restore, or save anybody's credit card information. We do not do that. If you specifically feel that there is a problem or that somehow we have kept your credit card information, please email support at courseforce.tv. Address it to Jay, and you can you feel free to mention me, that Donnie Drew said get in touch. They'll ask you for your ID, your um, uh, login details, and we'll trace it and we'll fix the problem for you. But we do not keep anybody's credit card information. Okay? So... so anyone is afraid that you know some some leakage of information something can happen just send it to me i'll buy the stuff for you you can trust me i'm i'm really good with this stuff it's uh it's... raise an excellent financial manager he'll buy you <laughs> everything for ten dollars yeah. i need a yacht <laughs> a yacht <laughs> oh boy i'm not sure how today's gonna go we have a sea in Latvia, so, you know, it just sits there. Why not? Why not? Ray needs a Turkish hair transplant. No, my hair is pretty, pretty great for, you know, I don't care. Maybe I need a beard transplant. Probably. I'll speak to the beard struggle about that. Any other questions you see, Ray, so we can uh, just move it on? If anybody has any questions now, super chat us in the live um, or... If you don't want to do that, you can just leave your questions in the comment section later on, and we will address those in next week's episode. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Is that right, right? Just wrote them down, not on a live chat, but most of, mostly was just feedback from uh, first episode that we did, the stories that we tell. Uh, Derek joined us. Uh, Derek is always fun. Um, I joined us. Yeah. And he made the video unmonetizable. By saying some, oh man, don't even get me started. One thing, somebody on the live chat last time, username Sylvester's Talone. Yeah. It was great. I mean, I thank you for all the positive he's, he's comments. He's still thank there. He's right now in the live chat. So oh, is he? So oh, thank yeah. you, yeah. Sly. Thank yeah. you for the positive comments. Thank you for supporting us. And generally, thank you for everybody who watched last time. I think most of the comments were positive. Thank you. But again, we can improve. Just keep coming. Give us your ideas and we'll we'll work on it. So what are we doing today, Ray? We said we'd tell some stories that nobody has heard before. So there's some stories we cannot tell and we should not tell because we do yes. not want to get canceled. Most of the stories that I haven't told are the stories I cannot tell. This you is know? going to be a really short episode. This if is you going to be a very short episode because I'm taking like, <laughs> what will get us in jail, right? <laughs> Most of them. <laughs> Most of the things. No, Ray, it wasn't that bad, but... Uh, Ray, hey, pro tip, mm -hmm. guys who look like you don't do well in jail. You're way too soft and pretty for jail. <laughs> okay, so try to avoid it, is my advice. Yeah. I will roughen off my face before I... <laughs> All right, okay, so... Hey, wait, before, before we start, like, I, I can, those W-U-S behind you, just... It's. It looks like I'm just reading it wuss all the time. Wuss. It's such a wuss. Yeah, that's what it was. That's the first major brand we started as Force Force, world's ultimate strongman. It went okay. on to become the world's biggest and craziest strongman show. The first show we did, 2018 October, it was. I was like a like a child at Christmas. Day. I should not be left with a budget and unsupervised. We went and found this Colosseum type arena, and it was just insane. So over the top. We flew in all the top athletes, big noise. The production level was insane. It was out in the middle of the desert. I had a choreographed gladiator horseman entrance sequence. Um, we rigged up the Atlas stone platforms with um, uh, flamethrowers. Every time an athlete would slam an athlete, Atlas Stone would shoot flames. We had the athletes come in and do these Lamborghinis and Brabuses and whatnot. Uh, what else did we have? We, the craziest thing in that thing was, so do you, do you know what? You've been here a bunch of times. Have you, have you ever been to Last Exit? No. 
So Last Exit is a food truck park that is kind of themed like Mad Max. Okay. What they have is these old vehicles that no engines, they're just for decor. So like these old Mad Max looking trucks and with horns on them and stuff like that. So we got in tight with the developer who runs that. <laughs> I remember very clearly, I had this idea in my head. So here, here's the problem, right? When I get an idea in my head, I it know. has to. I know. <laughs> okay. You know, I, know. I, know. I become really childish and really stubborn about it. I'm like, it must, must happen. So we figured out a way. First of all, the arena was sand. I'm like, right, how are we going to do a truck pull? We'll build a road in the middle of the arena. Not a road, like a 100-meter cement, like asphalt thing. Then we went out like about 100 kilometers from the arena to last exit craned those Mad Max looking trucks onto a truck trailer, drove them all the way to the venue and decorated the place with three or four. Uh, I wish we had a, like a, a way we could pull up a picture. Let me, and let me, I, yeah. you know what? Let me just find the post. I posted about it on Instagram on my own personal page. Um, there was a Mad Max art where, People were facing those trucks and all the trucks and the crazy motorcycles were coming towards them. And literally, I'm like, we must recreate the scene. We must recreate it. People are like, are you out of your fucking mind? What are you thinking? And we ended up picking up those trucks, bringing them over. And that's what the athletes use for truck pull, which was dangerous in and of itself because none of them had an engine. In a truck pull, you need a driver to be able to, you know, yeah. handle the wheel and all of that. Um, that was our first show. So that poster, this... And the one behind, let me see if I can actually do this. You see a little baby Yoda here behind me? Yeah. So the guy who made these paintings, his name is artist, the artist John Charles. Check him out on his. Wait, wait, wait. Those are paintings? Those are not posters? Yes. Paintings. And he doesn't use a brush. He uses like his hands and a knife. Oh, really? He's amazing. That was the first painting he made as a fan. That's Eddie's signature. That's Thor's signature, that's Zadrunas' signature, yeah. and that's Brian Goss' signature. Yeah. That thing is probably worth a lot, and I just keep it. Seven dollars, seven dollar ninety nine cents. Yeah, it's a lot more than that. I, I promise you, a lot more. Yeah, I I thought it's like just a poster, you know, like no uh, man, this made by hand, made by hand. Amazing. Um, yeah. so that's what wuss is. If you want to make more fun of it, there you go. It's, it's still. <laughs> So Go on. You, I'm, I'm going to find it. It's here somewhere. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. If this is getting... yeah, oh, yeah. I flew in like 10. We flew in 10 Shaolin monks to do a performance. Like, it was just the most insane show ever. Mm -hmm. And everything went wrong. Everything went wrong. The flamethrower calibration went wrong. Like, I'm, I, I love, I love flamethrowers. Don, what's, what, what's with you and fire? What do you mean? What's with you and fire? What's this obsession with fire? You always want some fire. Oh, God. Not you, too. Are you going to give me shit for that as well? well Look, I, I love lamp. Okay. I, 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 love, I love lamp. I love lights. I like putting shit together. I, I, I'm obsessed with pyrotechnics. I don't know. Don't you think they're cool? So, somebody in the chat, tell me. If anybody... There's nothing cooler than controlled... Pyrotechnics, flamethrowers, fire, fire arrows, whatever you can do. No? Am I alone here? Of course they're cool, but... Uh, hmm. Yeah, go on. But shouldn't there be limits or something? How cool, how cool is everything? I don't know. Like uh, I found, I, I'm found just that. waiting because I, I, I know they, they will not allow you in space, right? To do it fully like you wanted, right? They won't. Okay, I sent you the post. I don't know if you can put it on screen or not. On the right side is the Mad Max art, and okay, on the left see. side is what we end up okay. This is this is this is what people should be seeing. So uh, that's the Atlas stones, and that's the flamethrowers. That's Zadrunas, actually. Actually, yeah. And so that thing, we had ten Atlas stones, and they were supposed to shoot fire every time a stone went up, but it didn't really work. Okay. The... Ooh, this is cool. Okay, give me a second. I'll share. This is all new. I don't know what I'm doing. Really? Okay, this is 
This is the one like this. Can we enlarge that, Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it up. Pull it up, Ray. Yeah. Pull it up, Ray. So you yeah. see on what you can clearly see is a painting. That's the thing I had in my head. Yeah. And on the left, that's an actual photo of the venue. Those are the trucks that we actually shipped over via crane. And that's you see, that's Terry Hollins, the strong man. That's Darren Sadler from one of the owners of Giants Live. And we're figuring out how the fuck do we pull this? Is the guys who made the asphalt, they made it at an incline. So it'd be like pulling a truck in an incline in the middle of the desert in October with a truck that has no engine. It's, um, it's pretty sick. Yeah. That, it's sick that you could pull that off. But uh, did you have like unlimited uh, money for it? No, we had we had money, but we didn't have unlimited money. But that was that was kind of part of their sponsorship. But they didn't pay for the trucks to transport everything. They just didn't do it, you know. And they're like, "No, it's not possible. It's not possible." I'm like, yeah, it's, yep. "It's possible." I have a fire story to tell you. Uh, wondering if I should say that now or fire story. Let's go. Let's go. Fire stories. Yeah. So. It's to do with Devon. With Devon? Yeah, it's to do with... So, can we, can we take a couple of minutes to talk about what's, what's like... In case anybody is, has been living under a rock, right? For your information, we're about three weeks and a couple of days away from probably the biggest event in arm wrestling history. I mean, Devon versus Levon is one thing, but that rest, the rest of that card is insane. I was going through with Engen a couple of days ago. Dude, I mean, you tell me. You're, you're the arm wrestling aficionado. It's, uh, it's, it's not just the main event. It's the card. The card is looking really, really awesome. Uh, yeah. Great talent. Potential on some just amazing matches. Uh, oh. again, again, we're seeing some, some new guys coming up. We see some old heroes. Um, it's probably it's the biggest event of all time. Like because of all it's time. the biggest, biggest match of all time. Because I'll I'll tell you how it is. It was Devon versus Dennis 2018. Then it was Levin versus Devon 2022. Then it mm. was Dennis versus Devon 2023. And yeah. we know these things, right? And then it's this one. And this will trump everything. Yeah. Funny thing, I'm... so funny, 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 funny thing. So today we had um, Congress for All Sports Federations in Latvia, and okay. uh, I'm president of Latvian Arms and Federation, so I have to attend it. So I'm I'm running a little late. I'm coming in. The guy's coming behind me. I don't know him. Never met in my life. And he's like, "Oh, Coach Ray." He 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 calls me Coach Ray, not Raymond or any. He's like, and I'm like, uh, shake his hand, and you know. And I thought maybe I know him. And I'm like, well, I'm like, I don't know this guy. And I'm like, which pre mm. and he's president of uh disc throwing federation, I think so, right? Uh and he's like big fan. He's like Devon Eleven, April, right? Amazing. And I'm like, so Devin, what did you say Devon Eleven? Devon and Levin. Devon and Levin. Isn't it Levon? Levon. It's Levin. It's not Levon. Levin means lion, right? In Georgian? I don't know. I think speak. so. I think so. Yeah. But it's April 20th. April 20th. East versus West 12. Yeah. And just guys. Devon versus Levon. Devon versus Levon. Like that needs to be bought and watched and tended and re it's, it's, I'm actually excited and scared at the same time because, <laughs> you, you know, there should be some. Uh, we, we, you need to prepare some fail safes, right? If any case, yeah. like you know. No, we're, we're ready. We're we're, we're ready. Uh -huh. I wonder. I wonder how Devin must. Be. I know he's he, prepping, but he's, he's prepping, and uh, I. He was pretty confident in all the videos I'm seeing, and uh, I think uh, like. I I think if anyone can do it, he's the guy to do it, right? And. Uh, Actually, I have seen no. him so many times on all these events, and it's always um, just hanging out with him is fun. And so many things, it's I, I'm I'm excited to see what kind of Devon shows up on April. What you doing? Yeah, 
I'm actually seeing if he's around. Let me just text him. Okay. Okay. Get his Canadian ass on here. Uh, I just want to know. I mean, like, is it bigger than? Because you know, I <laughs> I had that idea of, and I put him in a boxing ring with Thor, right? So I wonder which one was more nerve wracking, the biggest match of his life, or when some guy calls you and says, "Hey, do you want to fight the biggest dude on the planet <laughs> with five weeks' notice?" Actually, okay. He hasn't responded I, yet. I, I would, I would love to hear what he t- like. Uh, this, like, who I've, wants to get punched in the face by Thor, right? Like, it's such a you have to be such a madman to want things like that. And then someone will say, like, Devin did it for money. I don't think you paid him enough to be hit in the head. And and he wanted <laughs> he wanted he something. Got paid well, he got paid well. Of course, but, yeah. But... Uh well, I'll if if he comes on, I'll let him tell that story. What I was gonna tell you that story, the fire related. Okay. Okay. So you've met Xena, right? Mm-hmm. For operations, man. Okay. So what happens is we get this venue and we have to do a risk assessment, then hand it over to the venue. Flamethrowers a couple of years ago, I figured out that there's a cheaper way of doing it because they're expensive here, is to actually hire fire breathers, human fire breathers. Their flames go up two meters. They drink the kerosene. You, you know what I'm talking about, right? The circus guys. They're way cheaper than an actual mechanical a uh, flamethrower, just as effective, but looks cooler, I think. So I decided that for the walkouts, I want fire breathers following Thor and then following Devin. So the risk assessment guys, so Zena comes up to me and she's like, so here's the risk assessment. The guy said, no. I'm like, no to what? She's like, pretty much everything you wanted, especially the fire. So I'm like, okay. She's like, I'm going to go hand this to me. I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me that. Can I have a look at it? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Took it and tore it apart. And she's looking at me. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, find me a different assessment. <laughs> Risk assessment. <laughs> Literally had a Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise fucking Tom, change, yeah. Tom Cruise change moment, the safety yeah. guy moment. I'm like, no, this yeah, is yeah, not yeah. going to work. Fuck them. And she's like, ah, because she, she knows. And I guess she's looking at me like, make my life difficult. She found a different guy and we did the walkthrough I'm like I will walk through with him and the guy came up with like the weirdest excuses like oh it's too dangerous I'm like too dangerous for what there's no people where they're walking out it's too dangerous for them what if the flame falls back on them I'm like this is what they do for a living and they're wearing fire retardant suits long story short I talked them into it and he just signed it off and that's how Devin walked out and oh and then I'm like okay now I need to find I didn't have any booked, right? So then, so, so then, so then I, called, I called an agent and it was last minute. I'm like, what? And I'm like, shit, we have 12 hours to do this because we had the strongman show the night before and the fight the next day. So it was panic and pandemonium everywhere. Yes, Ray, I don't know if that's... It's a bit of a story. There's no real payoff at the end, but yes, I am obsessed with pyrotechnics and fire. Uh Space doesn't allow it because the fire alarm goes off, so we have to set it old sparkles. Yeah, yeah. Um, so in the comments, uh, Ray Ray doesn't want fireworks. No, I want fireworks, but I said most likely there's not going to be any fire. Maybe, maybe you know, if the weather is good, we could do one one event outside. You know. Yeah. My yeah. weather let me, is. Good. Let me talk to the space. Let me talk to the space. I think if we put some kind of layering on the floor. Maybe. On the seal. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, no. You know what? Let me just call Devin. Huh? Let me just see if he's... Yeah, see if he's he's up and about. Uh, just uh, shout out to Sean Crowder. Um, he's uh, a little super What's chat. Up? What's up? What's up? What's up? How are you? Massive. Massive. Okay. Massive. <laughs> Before you say anything untoward, we're sorry for blindsiding you. We're on live on the podcast. On the Core Sports Podcast. Oh wow! Oh, hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> do you? We're, we're we're talking about sketchy stories from the past. Do you? Do you? Are, are you busy? Do you, do you have like ten minutes to jump on? Uh, I'm training. Do you care if I train while we're on the podcast? I don't care That's... at all. Yeah, perfect. All right. Okay. Uh, Ray yeah. or I will send you a Zoom link. 
Okay. I'll I'll send him a Zoom link on on you WhatsApp. All right, awesome. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Yay, we got Devin. Yeah. So call call your mom. Call everyone. Devin is joining us for the pod. <laughs> uh, My mom. Yeah. My poor. Invite. Thanks, Sean. Oh, is Sean watching? Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you get for what is it? He's, okay. He's lovely, isn't he? Hey, what, 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 what to tell some Sean Crowder stories? Or are we gonna keep those stories? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Ray, no, no, um, Ray, no. Sean has this special skill on uh, you know pissing everyone off in like by really not doing anything. Okay, that's not the stories I thought you were talking about. I, 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 I have never got that. Well, there was a one episode where there was almost a fight in a, you know. Where? When John pulled the match. Oh. Right. Let's, let's not talk about <laughs> that. <laughs> I don't think that that was Sean's fault, to be fair. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. Ray, no, Ray. I have <laughs> Oh, you guys don't mind. Uh, you just got me in the middle of my rehab shit. Hey, Devin. Hey, buddy. You're looking massive. Oh, I'm so huge. Devin, so huge. Devin Laratashvili, how's it going? Yeah, it's getting close, man. It's getting fucking close. How yeah. do you feel, buddy? You got three weeks and a couple of days, huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I, I'll tell you, I, I don't like to put things into perspective. Like I feel here and he feels there. So I don't know where I am, but I'll tell you, I am the best I have ever been in my life. I will say flawless training camp, strongest, healthiest, everything, everything. I'm good. I'll tell you. He better be good. I know he is, but he fucking better be. He better be. And you still have time. You still have time, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, is I've done everything so maturely. I'm like um, Goldilocks weird. and the three bears. Weird. You know the Goldilocks story? Yeah. Uh, the one is too much and the other is too little and the other is just right all the time. I I'm think... Dying. I'm Staying at that. home for two months and just grinding it out, right? Helps, right? No traveling, yeah. no, no, no in the schedule. Yeah. yeah. Everything was just perfect. Not I never did too much. I never did too little. I was on point the whole time. The the one cool thing that I really liked about this one that I didn't know that I was gonna like, but it ended up being the best thing. Was every practice was with the high hookers. Normally, I bounce around all these different clubs, and I kind of like the energy that I get from the new clubs. But, mm. uh, but just staying with the high hookers the whole time was like I felt like we all kind of got in exactly the same rhythm. You know what I mean? Like we were all we were all on pace. Like they were like following me. They were growing with me. Yeah. See this? See this motion, Ray? It's coming. See this? Yeah. This feels really good. Really? Oh, this is maybe my best motion right now. Ooh. Ooh. I'm telling you, and my shoulder can come forward. Okay. Oh, it can. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm very very excited for the match, and again, closer it gets, I think more it favors you. Because like well, you said, like, okay. I, I mean, we don't know. Like uh, you know, if I said this ten thousand times, if anyone can do it, you can do it. So, last hurrah, buddy. This is probably like if I lose to him, I don't I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I can do it again. Like it's it's a lot to to get that title shot. A lot of young guys, hungry guys. It's you know, I, I've had a really good year, but I, I don't know how long I can keep this up. Like to to hang with these young guys, um, and in the open weight division, you know what I mean. I think it's different in the in the one fifteen or one hundred five, but the open weight, man, it's fucking tough. You know, like this is this is like this is a big shot for me, big shot. How big you are now? 
the biggest biggest match of your life. Huh? The weight, the weight isn't hasn't really changed. Um, I did, this morning I was two seventy. Two seventy, so it's good. That's good. Two seventy is good. Yeah, two seventy is good. Um, and uh, and I'm not like I, I'm eating just fine. I'm, but again, I'm it's like Goldilocks, you know. Uh, it's it's not too much. Not too little. I just eat what I what I what I need to eat. I don't eat more. I don't eat less. So, I'm healthy, I'm healthy. Yeah. But last time you were what what it was close to two ninety, right? Something like that. I was bigger. I was so, bigger. Yeah. But I don't think my lift tour is good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And now I've been immunized, right? I got that immunization. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, you Should did be. really, really good in Italy, Ray. Really good. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, you fucking killed it, man. That's a that was. I was really impressed. Thank you. Yeah, felt good. I like staying at home and training for quite some time. Right, long like when I prepared for Robbie, I didn't travel yeah. much. Stayed yeah. and like everything. Now even better. So. Yeah. Yeah, good job with Robbie. Also, man, that kid is really impressive. I, I, uh, I, I thought he might give you more problems, but you, fuck, you top rolled him. Yeah, I'm really good. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you are. That's good. I, I, I'm so, you're killing it. No, no, I, I like Robbie. Robbie's attitude is great, and uh, yeah. yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, nothing but so, success. Hey Ray, what do so, you think about what do you think about Don for bottom eight when we revitalize it? Well, well, I think, I think what it's is what time. is bottom eight? Can somebody shut help up. me. What is this? Okay, I'll shut up. It's I don't know what bottom eight is. Bottom eight is very special type of arm wrestling. Eight people that are very interesting in arm wrestling. Right? That would be not not the not not the best, not the worst, but something in between. Some interesting people. Let's say like that. And uh, yeah. not in between. Stories. Like so, we we did bottom eight one. Bottom eight two got canceled because of COVID. Bottom eight two was going to be pretty freaking hilarious. I was, I was going to be in bottom eight two. Who was your first match? Oh, uh, Beerman's brother. Oh, that's right. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, that so, would have been good. We had Bart me. Wood versus. Uh, we had Bart Wood versus. Um, uh, Top, top eight, uh, Jesus, top eight. Who runs top eight? Ah, anyway, forget about that. Forget top about eight. that. Explain to me in the in this bottom eight is the eighth yeah. placing person the winner? Well, like a in, a, in a way, in a yeah. way, yeah, the yeah. Worst, worst, like yeah, 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 yeah. So we pay attention to who loses and who wins. Yeah. Sign me up. Yeah. Well, I I'm think eight. for you, first round would. I would want you against Beaver Pumper. Who's fucking Beaver Pumper? Well, you will find out. Yeah, you're gonna find out. He's the Beaver Pumper. Last yeah. time, Beaver, Beaver not Pumper. sound right. Well, what? Like... Yeah, yeah, it's exactly how it's supposed to sound. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Dude works out with 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 dead dead beavers. Hey guys, let's bring it back to. I had a question for you, Devin. The reason I called you is this: the biggest match of your life. We were telling messed up stories that, well, some of them messed up, some of them cool. Is this more nerve wracking for you, or is it some random dude calling you, no names, but rhymes with Shmishmon, Idris, and saying, hey, do you want to get into a ring and fight the biggest guy on the planet in five weeks? <laughs> Which one was more? I'll let you answer, and then if you want to oh, tell that's, that, that's a tough, that's a tough one. You know, he, the thing is, is this is my wheelhouse, like arm wrestling. Like, I mean, I, I'm very, very comfortable and confident, and I know the game, and I, you know, it's it's what I do. And then, uh, yeah. but that's not exactly how it went. Well, you tell the story then. So you kind of asked for it first, didn't you? Put me in, I, coach. I remember getting attacked. So I think the way it went was. I think the way it went was, so I was following the fight, right? Like, I mean, so much of us, so many of us were, I was super pumped, like fucking Thor and Eddie. Oh my God. And knowing the story, I was just right in there. And I think that when Eddie blew his bicep, I think I sent you a note and I was like, we were talking about something else. 
And then I was like, oh, yeah, by the way, if you need a stand in, I'm your guy. <laughs> yes. And I, th you, you... I think it was just that. And well, I, then and you I don't... made a video, I think. And saying... I sent it to you. Oh, that's right. And I posted it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I was all messed up. Put me in, coach, or something like that. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. out of your fucking mind. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> but, you but... know, I had no intention of doing it. I just was like messing around, like, you know, whatever. Like, I mean, I, I didn't think I'd be the guy. Um, and I think it, that was it. There was no conversation or anything. And I think that, I think that you ended up calling me back, like, on a Friday, and you were. Oh, you're on, you're on mute. You muted yourself. Yeah. Yeah. On a back, Friday. Back. Yeah, yeah, I think it was a Friday, and it was like, uh, Devin, were you serious when you said that you would do that? And I was like. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I was like, um, yeah, for sure, I was serious. Oh. And then you're like, okay, because there's like four guys in the mix, but I'll let you know in a couple days. But it it looks like it might be you. And I think it, that was Friday. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like calling. I'm like not really believing that this is real yet. And I think it was, I think it was, I think it was Sunday morning at like four in the morning, you called me and it was like, so that was like, that would be like five weeks or four and a half, four, five weeks or so from the event, like less than five weeks. And you were like, you got the gig. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh fuck! You put like, a awesome. crazy idea in in Don's mind. Yeah, it will yeah. materialize. It will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Crazier and idea. Yeah. That night, I went to TriStar, and I and yeah. I got my nose punched in until I went to Dubai every day. You yeah. Bag, and you left the house, and you literally went into fight camp the yeah. same day. That day, and Jody. I remember that Zoom call, and Jody's in the background giving me the stink eye. Like, what <laughs> are you doing? Yeah. Right? What? Yeah, the... yeah First man. Of all, oh God, not him again. And she's like, "What? <laughs> you want him to do what?" I'm like, "He's already said yes." I didn't know. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Oh, hey, that was awesome. That was, that was so awesome. much fun. You know, I had so much fun doing it. Uh, yeah, like uh, TriStar was just a load of fun. Um, I did, you know, I mean, you can't go far in, in five weeks with like, you know, when the fight is actually in five weeks and you're just trying to learn how to box. like. Yeah, but you see, here's the thing, right? You got all the applause for being, oh, man, this guy's got balls. You ended up with like 200,000 new boxing fans. I got all the hate. You're ruining an athlete. You're doing this. You're doing that. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake, guys, come on. I just want to put on a show. It was great. <laughs> you know? I really loved it. I really um, loved it. Except Man. for that moment where you picked your walkout song. I think it was that Johnny Cash when the yeah. man comes around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you remember the two dudes behind you spitting fire? We actually we yeah. just talked about it a couple minutes ago. Yeah. And everything yeah. is perfect. Uh, we had a video made that was um uh something to the like the video that plays before you come out it was something to do with the good the bad and ugly or one of those westerns like a little face off between you and thor or something like that and then ray you thought this press conference was the same thing happened but with the sound mm -hmm. literally ash starts playing devin walks out two steps everything is looking great fucking the sound mixer we lost audio and the in drop silence and Devin is walking and the people are blowing fire. Nothing made sense anymore because there was no music. And I just blew a lid. It, the venue was so big. You couldn't hear me screaming like last time you heard the thing. And I'm like, is that just ruined the show moment? <laughs> I don't know if that did anything to you, but anyway, it got fixed. And luckily the fight didn't last. Very long. <laughs> I was so confused. I was so confused from start to I'm finish. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about that. I know no, the walk. Sorry, I, I, it's one of my fonder memories. I really enjoyed it. 
It was really great. I, I, I remember so that you should box Don. <laughs> I told you know, him late. I told him, I'm like, do you want to punch me in the face for ruining the song? Just have at it. I mean, everybody's having to go at me. Bring it on. He's like, no, man, I love these full of adrenaline bleeding on one side. This is great. I got punched in the face by the biggest dude on the <laughs> Like, great. I we might uh, I might end up fighting at ADCC again this year. What? Uh, Abu Dhabi uh, matters. I might really yeah, the, the jujitsu? I might, yeah. Yeah. When? I think it's August. Mm-hmm. Maybe yeah. we should talk first. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a conversation <laughs> first. On this yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love those guys, though. The the BJJ guys, I, I love them. They're all, that I I love everything about it. We're getting into that. Like, hopefully, we'll be streaming some of uh, not maybe well, ADC. They, but they don't. I'm not going to be fighting a BJJ guy. Mm-hmm. Last time you put the uh, with Juji, right? You and yeah. Juji. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hey, like, get get like, Bradley Martin and say, quick, right? "Bro, I'm two seventy." Like, Bro, I'm two sixty. Yeah, that would be yeah. great. I had, a, I had a story about that. I tried reaching out to Bradley Martin a couple of times. Yeah, right? because I want to put I'll, him I'll in the ring. Bradley Martin, I'll, I'll have well, a, I'll have a. You're not the only one. I've got a friend of a friend, yeah. a guy who I'm going to mention, but I'm trying to get Bradley Martin to get into a proper fight, but he's just not responding to me. So, if anybody knows him. Mm. Or is in contact well, with him. I bet you Larry knows him real good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't think of that. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. Well, Interesting. In the same place. Yeah, I bet you they know each other. So, so yeah, you so sorry that about night, the that night, oh. that night. Remember that night with the water bottle? Jody's water bottle? You're going to have to remind me. I mean, you know, sometimes Jody has special water bottles. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And it's like, I'm getting ready to go out and fight, and I just want one last drink oh. of water. Oh, shit. <laughs> like great, big, great big chug of vodka. <laughs> big chug of, it's lighter fluid. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah, something like that. And no wonder you look like that after the I fight. Actually, I think- I think I have done that because I was like, I was like, can you give me something? She's like, yeah, here. And she's so yeah. happy. Yeah, have it. She's tricky yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Last yeah. Uh, last event after the matches, uh, me and Robbie uh, were like, I like in between like the matches, like I don't know, commercial break or something. So I went to Robbie. I'm like, you know, we talked for a little bit. Then I have to go commentate. And Jody's like, want to do a shot of tequila? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, she's funny. She definitely gets in the mood for these matches. Yeah, that was. Uh, I'm really looking forward to next month. Uh, oh so you bringing the whole family is coming to? Um, I don't think so. I think it's going to be Auden and Jody for this one. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Milo, Milo, I don't think so. He's just. Freaking busy and Habri also busy, busy, busy. But we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, right now it looks like just Auden and Auden and uh Jody and me. And Auden's Auden's killing it. He's killing it. By the way, how's he doing? He's killing it, seriously. He's doing yeah. so good. Like ev- everything. All like he's learned everything that I have to teach him, basically. Like obsessed, obsessed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's all in. Yeah. Like it, it, after after the event, like the next days, the days. I don't mean day, but days. Oh, I went down and him and Whisper. They're all time just you know talking. He's like explaining some things, and they're you tied together, and I'm, and they want to go outside, and they're stuck there for three hours. Just yeah, yeah. obsessed, obsessed. That's great. Yeah, he's still well. Devin, mm-hmm. on an off topic, I forgot to actually because we haven't spoken in a, in a few days. Did I tell you that the Beard Struggle came back on board now and they're fully sponsoring everything arm wrestling related? Do you remember? Do you remember the, the, the beard, beard Struggle? Struggle? They are, yeah. Do you remember, like from KOT yeah. one, they were yeah. there. Uh huh. Yeah, they're now sponsoring East versus West, King of really? the Table podcast. Oh yeah, that's significant. You're, yeah. You're, Hello, Canadians. Yeah, man. Oh, great. 
Very uh, good. We're always good yeah. to have sponsors. Especially since they're specifically like doing stuff like they made a code for the arm wrestling fans. They're trying to do like that. They're coming up with new taglines that are like specifically for arm wrestling. Because one of them was at the show last uh, audience show, and they'd never seen one before. Mm -hmm. uh, and they just, you know, uh, just a piece of information. So now we've got the beer struggle. We've got ESN, who sponsor pretty much every art. Well, they, they do sponsor every show. So thank you. Thank you to all the companies that are slowly coming on board and supporting arm wrestling. And thank you to the fans for continuing to support via your pay-per-view, which is in the link below. Nice plug there. See how seamless I did that, right? Very oh, seamless. Very seamless. No, no one, no one like, like hit me like a jab from Thor. I just... <laughs> oh, well, uh, do we, Devin, do we? I can't, I can't tell that story yet. I don't yeah, tell me what. So what? The date. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm cool with that. Listen, I'm an open book. No, but I'm not cool with that because I'm the organizer about your medicals. Remember? Oh yeah. Okay. You want me to tell it? No. Oh. I don't. Yeah. I, don't I think that's know. why they stopped the fight as early as they did as well. Actually, actually, yeah. Actually, yeah. Basically, yeah. all right. I'll tell the story because it's it's not as bad as as I made it sound. What happened was. Devin didn't realize that before a fight, you have to get a medical. <laughs> yeah. So I show up after the press conference or whatever, and Devin's like, like, what's up? He's like, they want me to go in and do blood tests, and they don't want me to see a doctor. I'm like, yeah, dude, this is your pre-fight medical. I want to make sure that you're good to fight. He's like, I remember his words very clearly. He's like, Don, I don't think I want to see a doctor. <laughs> And I'm looking, and he, I don't think a doctor wants to see me either. <laughs> I remember, I remember so, that poor doctor. I remember that like, fucking poor doctor. I'm like, look, it's not like they're testing you for PEDs or AIDS. Or, it's, it's three things you have to get done. HIV 1, 2, Hep C, um, eye test, and like a, just make sure, like, you don't die. Uh, you were having gut issues at the time. Anyway, so the doctor came out, he calls me, he's like, come here. I'm like, what? He's like, uh, your boy's not doing too well. <laughs> okay. So I'm like, is he fit to fight? Are we in any danger? He's like, no, but it is my obligation as a physician. And he called all the referees and Devin wasn't there. He told Devin to leave. He's like, it is my obligation as the ringside physician to say, even the slightest, even the slightest hint of anything I'm going to stop the fight. Are you good with that? I'm like, yes, because I can't have that guy die on me. Okay. So one more time, doc, are you sure he's good to fight? He's like, he's good to fight, but I wouldn't expect like two, three rounds of getting punched in the head. He's like, okay. And they did yeah. exactly what one punch. Like that stopped the fight. That's yeah. it. Oh, I remember. That's it. I remember. So I'm like one of the last ones to go in. Right. And so he checks my blood pressure. Obviously my blood pressure is, super high and uh so he's like okay that's that's a problem he's like have you ever fought before i'm like no i'm like but you know i'm, I'm starting to tell him you know but i used to fucking he's like, okay so you never fought he's like how long you boxed i'm like well i boxed for like you know a few weeks here and the he's box like, presents <laughs> he's like uh He's like, um, have you ever gotten concussions or anything? I'm like, yeah, I've gotten lots of concussions. I've got uh, uh, like, I've got fucking brain injuries and stuff. And it's like, it's like okay. Uh, if there was a like, list of things the doctor didn't want to hear. He yeah. Must have read it yeah out. It was like, he's he's like you fail. I don't even have to check you. You already failed, dude. <laughs> yeah. No, I remember him being like, like really concerned and like, Kind of being like kind of shocked, like who the fuck is this guy? Like that's gonna be fighting Thor. Like, what are you doing here? Are you crazy? And I'm like, listen, why are you? Doing yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember, yeah. but you know, when they stopped the fight, it was probably just gonna get worse. So I mean, probably good, probably good. <laughs> that was fun. I really enjoyed it. You know, I would love to do more like grappling stuff because I, I did a little bit more of that and i feel like my arms you know like 
because striking oh. that, that's a big well, problem. This is a do you big remember problem. that nightmare we had? We were trying to do the stats at the tail of the yeah. tape, and we were trying to measure the reach, but this fucker's arms don't stretch out all the way. So we're like, how do we do this? Do we like make up a number or what? Because his wingspan is huge, but he can't go past a certain point. And it took, then you had to, I don't know, lie down on the floor and I don't know what. And we, it was a yeah. whole complicated thing with boxing experts who were looking at me going, yeah, we've got nothing yeah. to do with it. No, this is not really boxing. Right? So that was, a, it was an interesting week. I, I like, though. you know, I've met so many fighters as a result yeah. of that match. You know, I, I met, like, I feel like not only did I, I kind of touch into the boxing world a little bit, but I got into the, into the BJJ world because of it more as well. Hey, like, Devin, uh, Devin, what's with Chel Sonnen? Yeah. You know, we've been talking a little bit. No, Chel, Chel likes arm wrestling. Yeah. Have you done a show, but Have you done a show? I, no. Have you ever done his show? No. I, I haven't. No, but I've been talking to him. Yeah, no, he's cool. He he thinks arm wrestling is cool, right? And is he coming to Istanbul? I asked him if he wanted to go, and uh, he said he thought he was busy, but he said if it opens up, he'll hundred percent be there. So that's, that's amazing. I, I, that's right. Yeah. That's that's amazing. Yeah. Right. Chels, those characters. These, these bridges between the fight world and arm wrestling are going to keep opening. I think. Oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I I have that's, this one question. Uh, what's with the uh, documentary? Okay, so there's significant things to talk about there. So I believe, okay, and I'm not involved in any of the that side of it, but I'm pretty sure that the documentary has been picked up. Or if it hasn't been picked up, it's like a pen stroke away um, from Balboa Productions. So Sylvester Sloan is, is the one behind it now. Okay, so... The documentary is, they're the one, they're the investors, they're the ones who are pumping it out. So it's cool, like, because Sylvester Sloan's ties to Over the Top, and now he's doing a documentary on arm wrestling. Yeah. So so that got them funding, that got them to extend the project. Okay, so initially the film was supposed to end with Levon part one. Yeah. Okay, but then what happened is, you know, Life. I've had a really good last last you know two years basically really really good so um core sports and east versus west have been so kind to offer up that footage uh we've been doing backstory on it uh rory was here like the whole last week we were shooting um and he will be in istanbul to capture the the last the last match so so this is no longer a documentary leading up to levon it's the whole thing it's Amazing. the whole thing. yeah we talked about yeah. it so many times like like when they when they put down a camera that's where they should start rolling right it should have yeah. started with that moment and then right all the way through this it's amazing it's uh if you win it's a fairy fairy tale ending right it is it is yeah so we'll see how they end up editing it they certainly can edit it any way they want now but they're going to have footage from basically uh Michael Todd, John Brzezink, Levon Sagnashvili and now all the way through to the rematch they have footage like that covers like 3 years nice yeah nice. get it on netflix put it eight episodes we'll binge I like, I, I think it's going to be great, man. I think it's going to go. It's, I, it's some big platform, like like we need Armas, like we need it on TV in or at least in streaming, right? Yeah. And you're the best guy to put it there. It's going to it's 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 make on course. We're on course, yeah. course is the best streaming platform out yeah. Keep well, it, I mean. listen, All that stuff, I got nothing to do with that. Unbiased I, opinion, Ray. <laughs> No, no, I'm just telling Ray. I'm just an unbiased opinion, but I think it's the best platform. I mean, what kind of movies can I watch there? You can watch uh, behind the scenes. You can uh, watch all the world's best arm wrestlers. Uh, you can watch all the best matches. You can all watch all the best promotions. And if you have a special password, mm -hmm. um, we're thinking. <laughs> no, no, I know, no, no, Ray, no. 
got to say no again. I know what you want. Maybe we'll mail you a link. Yeah, we should. Uh, I I think what we need is this this we need uncensored version of this podcast where we just talk all the things that have happened. So a note to the fans. I know we said untold stories, but guys, if you didn't find these interesting, right? It, we kind of have to keep things under. I mean, this is a professional podcast. Oh, we I'm can't talk talking. about all the things that I give you when you come and visit? You can. You can. I, I, I have no problem with that. But you, you do kind of tend to go overboard. Right? Well, uh, the idea I, was for me to stay what do you mean overboard. Well, when like somebody I'd say said, I'm probably accurate. Okay, this is like almost a year ago now. I said I would like to microdose and focus. With some little, you know, like like shrooms or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I'm yeah. there for two days. And this guy gives me ten bags. I'm like, what the fuck am I gonna do with this? So this is like the weird peer pressure of I have to take it because I'm not gonna throw it away and I have to fly out. I can't take. Well, it I was me. thinking I was gonna take care of your whole team, you know. <laughs> like, and you got Hannah on your team, and Hannah like just gah, 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 gah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to end this conversation right now. <laughs> it's been there's been one time when I saw like Don on after party. It was in Istanbul after East versus West ten. That wasn't that wasn't me. That was Don because that was I another came, guy. And he's partying, and there's Swedish girls there. And everyone's there. And he comes. A, a, he's he just poured vodka in my mouth and say, oh, yeah. Say, Bitch, say my bitch. And, and what what is the deal between you and Neil Pickup's relationship? But me, because that night I don't know. It was kind of weird. Like, in what sense? You notice that, Ray? Oh, I see Tell what you mean. Tell me doing. more. Tell me more. I say, I see what you're doing. You uh, okay? I just, Try I to just, start. I don't know. I I, I wasn't I, I wasn't able to follow because that's why I was confused. Normally I can follow a conversation. I know what's going on, but I feel like there no, were I, so many pieces that I was not aware of in that conversation. Me neither. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. First of all, Ray, that was not me. That was a uh-huh. weird other dude that is now locked up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um people keep sending me videos of that night. I'm, I, I honestly don't have a clue what you're talking about. Someone spilled champagne all over the floor. But yeah, it's definitely those Swedish girls. They are always up to no good. Always. Yeah. yeah. They're fine. I mean. I blame. I, you just pick one. Blame any one of them. Fia. We blame Fia. Yeah, let's blame Fia. That's the one I wanted to say. But really, right, as soon as I said, let's blame Fia, I thought of Carolina. And I was like, she's just as bad. And then, and then, and then I thought they're all every single one of those Swedish girls is a problem. They're not a problem. Leave them alone. They're fun. They're funny. They're hilarious. I love them. Oh, and of course, they're great. Because she's going to be at the in Istanbul now, right? I think she has a map. Yeah, I think there's probably going to be a lot of them there. Yeah, it's a that's. I'll tell you that is a match. That is a match. Oh my god, what a match! And Katrina and Fia, wow, man, wow, you're gonna want a lot of cameras on that match. That's fucking big time. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, um, just so you know, for just for that match, bring in at least four more cameras. Okay, four more cameras. We need extra cameras for that. Match. Yeah, okay. that match can do so many great things. I, I will oh, speak with management. I'll speak with management to see what they say. Yeah. Oh, Rabbit. Hey, I'm on uh, Ray and Don there. My, some of my favorite people. What Hi. Is up, JJ? It's How's mama. it going? It's Mama. Oh, up, I mama can't Bear? escape what's... it, can I, Ray? I can't escape what's, what's that? What's going on? What are you wearing on your head? My little toque. I have oh. an oil treatment on my head, so it looks super greasy. So, you know, cover it up a bit. Just had the dog at the dog park. He was such a good boy. Now I'm coming in to do stuff, so... Have fun. If you can see my heels, I clicked them on my way up for you, Donnie. <laughs> Thank you, Jody. It's we heel click. 
That's I don't want to get into that. That's a story for another DVD <laughs> or another episode entirely. Do you see what I'm working with? Sorry? Do you see what I'm working with right now? You see this? It looks quality. It is absolute quality, my friend. Absolute quality. Sometimes when I'm having a bad day, I just take a moment and I look down. Everything is okay. Good moment. Everything is okay. Good, Good moment. moment. Yeah. It's amazing, right? It's the best. <laughs> Love it. You know how so that, I, I can tell how that happened. Me and uh, Hermes comes to Istanbul, and we usually go to Monica's to eat, but Monica's was closed. We we can't. We like we ordered some food, and I said I have some beers, and he's doing commentary tomorrow. I'm, I finished everything, so we're just drinking in our room. We drink like four beers each, and he's like at one point because he, he's like he's just he's just <laughs> like why people are sad, and I'm like. I take out the camera. I'm like, say it again. Say it one more time. And just, yeah. Yeah. That's a great moment, man. That is fucking hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Good moment. <laughs> Good moment. Okay. All right. All right. I what, can't what, wait what, for him and Dennis, really. I think Dennis will come more, interesting man. way more prepared than he was for you. Like, I think he's, yeah. he's the threat and he knows the door that, like, like Hermes is going to try to open. He will try yeah. to do exactly the same thing as you did, right? Why wouldn't he? Why yeah, wouldn't yeah. he? That's that's the lane, man. The that lane. That is the lane. Yeah. We'll yeah. get into that. We'll have a lot of that to talk about. Are you uh, Do you want to come out to that, Devin? Oh, we'll talk later, I guess. We'll talk oh, that's, later. That's, that's a yes. That's a yes. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. Well, Listen, because I, I can, might if, have if, some... As long as my calendar's free, I, I'll tell you... After I've I've like put everything on the back burner and I've got a lot of things booked after this match, like weekend here, weekend there. But right. yes, yes. We'll talk. We'll talk because I might want to. We'll talk. I'm probably uh, Ray and I can commentate. <laughs> I was going to say Does Neil say. pick up with so many people? Uh, yeah. Sure. Why not? I, I'd like I a don't whole table. Commentate. I just want to come and have a good time. No, yeah. listen, let me give me a few days, uh, Devin. I need um not need, but I'm can't officially say it right now. Give me a few days and I'll give you a schedule of that week. Actually, you might be interested just for yeah. shits and giggles. But um back just, to yeah. Go I on. I just want to throw this out while we all are here. We yeah. need to get Bloat Lord on an arm wrestling table. Who's Bloat Lord? Yeah. That's Who me in the morning. Craig Coach Grizzly. Oh, this is an actual person. You know who he is, Craig Coach Grizzly. I've talked to you about him forever. Oh, 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 Kriakos. This is in no way an original <laughs> idea. Everybody no, no. knows this guy yeah. is magic. He arm us. He was just at the Arnold's, wasn't he? He could put yeah. him against, you know, doesn't matter, like someone just not an arm wrestler or something. Just Juji. him and Juji. Be big, guarantee yeah. you. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. I'm gonna have to wrap this up a little bit. Any questions, Ray? Did you notice any questions? Any super chats that we need to address? No, no, no. no? We, we did everything. Okay. We did everything well, for fans, if you have any questions or comments, feedback is always welcome. How we can improve, improve the podcast, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But please do leave your questions in the actual comment section, and Ray and I will address them in next week's episode. If there's anything specific you want us to talk about, let us know. Um, so Same just in closing, thank you for joining. Thank you for supporting the podcast. Thank you for supporting arm wrestling. Links below, The Beard Struggle. Use the code Core Sports, get 21% off. And the pay-per-view link is down below for the biggest match, biggest event in arm wrestling history. East versus West 12, April 20th. This fella versus a bigger fella and uh like a million other amazing matches Do, am i supposed to be doing this shit too or <laughs> of course a little shadow puppet i'm just going to show off my gimpy bicep again check this shit out Deb. i make beaver pumper beaver pumper <laughs> yeah um so thank you guys again um and uh, we will see you next week any closing comments from you guys just that one stay massive have you ever Same seen map. anything so massive ever in your life? 
how much bigger is your forearm than your biceps? It's it it should be at least like an inch or two, right? Well, four times as big. Nice yeah. respect. Yeah, <laughs> stay yeah. strong and love arms. Later, All guys. Right. All right, thank you, thank you, Devin. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Bye, Cheers. guys. Bye, 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 bye. Have a good one.